Alright, right, so. Oh, they're already doing. I thought, I welcome, thought to the, welcome to the grand final for Killing Floor Games. This is game one for Sinji, uh, who came top of the semi finals with a time of 18 minutes 39. I'm Can Grail, and cash? joining me is Egg. And we have a special guest visitor helping us tonight, Star Wars Oz, team leader for MGC. Hey everybody, great to be here. Uh, yeah, it's first of three matches for the grand final for Synergy, who are the defending champions. It's going to be an interesting match. Hello everyone, this is Oz, or Star Wars Oz. I led, I've been leading MGC in this tournament, but of course we got knocked out in the, the semi-finals, so now I decided to come around and help commentate on these guys. Best of luck to them. So you would have seen a few of their games, Oz, as uh, one of the the big teams to, to play against. How have you Indeed. seen their performances so far? Obviously pretty uh, impressive. Man They've on! almost, I mean, I guess with all the time they've done in every way, they've, or every game I should say, they've always been What's almost um, the best in the like BG2, in the quarterfinals, the BG2 managed to beat their time. Apart from that, they've been top the leaderboard by quite a bit, so... I mean, it's going to be a good challenge, definitely. Now, what do you guys make of this camp spot? This uh, one's pretty popular in my games. Yeah, very much so. I've used it up quite a lot, and we've also practiced this for Killing Four Games in a few of the past tournaments as well. Yeah, I've seen a lot of... Uh... Oh, sorry, you go, Grant. No, I was going to say, can get hectic with uh, our brawlers, um, but yeah, they, they've been showing that they can handle very hectic positions the whole tournament so far. Yeah, I've noticed they've welded the draw to back. We haven't seen a great deal of welding so far in this tournament. Well, it's one of the few cases where a welding the draw to the back actually prevents it from going there. It's not, not, not too often you actually get like a locked slot with rolling the door. Or oftentimes it'll just bash it down if you get unlucky. So we'll see how it goes for them. So you'll see that their loadout is what they've played every game so far. Three sharps and a demo. This game, Mushroom Head has got the crossbow, whereas he is fairly commonly uh, been using a musket. And Reaper has the M32 grenade launcher first wave. Yeah, they did some fast uh, money switching right at the beginning. Clearly a well practiced move. I know from experience having that M32 is much more helpful on the M79. You just get much more options, much more firepower at your disposal when taking down anything. So if they manage to get the down on the first wave, then good for them. Yeah, if they've got the money to do it, there's no reason to buy the M79 over the M32 first wave. It does effectively the same job, but six times faster. Even has more ammo. Yep, and we've got a three and a half minute time so far, almost finishing this wave. Pump up in the door though. That was playing in a few seconds. Fresh Matt is taking his counting and oh. he on five, five HP. Points. That was close. Very nice. That would have been an unfortunate Balls up, boys. Uh, beginning to the game for them. Run for it! Well, maybe they're just getting warmed up a little Stand bit. Stand still or keep leading. You're cool. Fresh Matt is on that side by himself. Um, and from my experience playing on this map, uh, in this spot, anyone who's on the right by themselves, they tend to take more punishment. It's certainly the riskiest spot, isn't it? There's that spawn point where they can pop out practically on top of you. Off to That's the right, side. yeah. Yep. So Reaper's walled well his teammates out. I guess they're going about the long way. Have you said that in this tournament we've seen Fresh Matt uh, frequently holding a side by himself? Here's the first flush round. Easily dealt with. Yeah, and you're right, uh, Egg. Fresh Matt has been holding spots by himself. And he's been doing a good job uh, showing. He's been doing a great job. 
Yeah, showing his skills. So he's getting hit again. Watch it! I'm reloading! Hold on, I'm reloading! And you can see that crawler spawn there. That crawler spawn Just can above. be problematic. Because when they hit the ground, they can immediately launch into a bunch attack. I think it looks like Reaper and the Bango is on that, meeting them as soon as they hit the ground. He's also got armor, really important, because the last thing he wants is for one of those to jump into his uh, field of view when he's trying to take a push count and he gets splashed down. Give me a sec. Looks like they're under control. Apart from a few scares of the mushroom here. No one will really take any more strategy at all. Yep. So how do you we'll see say. the three sharps on this map, Oz? Well definitely where they're holding it. It's... Hmm. I personally would have taken either a commander or a support here, just because of that really close um, little spawn, and of course the, the uh, spawn for the line as well in the little corridor. Just because a little it's, bit of it's a little bit close quarter. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, if you get a whole lot of stuff coming out there at once, Sharpies just don't have the um, DPS to blow down everything at once. And they are taking a lot more hits than what they have been used to taking so far this tournament. The back door is being attacked by a gore fast at the moment. And two plots with a scrape coming up as well. To see if he actually manages to get on the door. Or whether the gore fast just block everything else. Reaper has turned his attention to the door. So this is a map that there seems to be from my experience no best spot that I know of. Um, and by that I mean matching really fast times for really safe, uh, or, or safe points. Would you find that to be similar? Close. This map is, I'd say I'm not a fan of this map, either in um, tournament play or just in pub games, like general play. It's, I don't know what it's about, it's just very, very big and the spawns are very, very weird on it. So I would also say there's not really one oh, best run. camp spot that everyone goes to. You can oh, definitely hold them a few places, run. and there definitely some places are safer than others. Like we said, the Turbine Room is definitely one of the safer spots and the more popular spots. But I don't know whether it's fast enough to compete in this, in the Grand Final, but we'll have to see. As we're seeing, you can certainly end up being a long way from the Trader. It's quite an yeah, epic journey here. It does have some marathon runs. How are you looking at their times there, Egg? Almost eight minutes, two, two waves through? Yeah, we're clearly going to be seeing a longer time. Uh, I think it's got a lot to do with the nature of the map, really. Burn rubber, you pillocks! I mean, I think yeah. at this point in time, uh, eight minutes, that's pretty pretty Get reasonable, really. This is a team who have, in previous uh, games, hugged traders. Do you think oh, we'll see any of that this run. game? Considering oh, that's a good question. A way than they came. Yeah. Maybe. This is a tough map for camp spots, you, though, like pillars. I said earlier, so it's going to be a bit harder to hug traders, really. Looks like they got a plan, though. They are all moving in the same direction. If they're trying to get back to that going to camp turbine room. Outside this trader. Could be. Nope. Nope. So they're He's going to use up pretty much way back to all this trader time. They are in a group, which will help them if they don't make it back in time, Thin but they should right here, do boys. it. Interesting, so... Obviously this is their this is their spot then. No matter where the trader is, they'll come back to here. Flesh so coming out the side with a siren attack. Oh, you turn. But Reaper makes quick work of it. In the 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 door. Door. So now there's kind of a lot of aggro from the very start of the wave. Yep, and there's a bloat at the door as well. You don't really want the bloats there. Because, yeah, for that purpose, the grenades don't take him out. Well, it looks like Reaper had a plan of uh, dealing with at least most of the trash at the door. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a gap. 
and that is just wide enough, just on close enough to blow up the trash that's in that door, which is very, very handy. Unfortunately, as well, yeah, I've seen that done before. doesn't really care though, so I have to make sure that's continuously welded. That's where I'll go back to go. So I don't yeah, want to just gonna die back to the when the door backward goes, it's not that easy to get the hole here. And there's no real easy line of retreat either, and that's something that makes a spot, I suppose, uh, a good one for a tournament as well. If you're in a, are in a tough spot, being able to get out without wiping. Well, I believe the backdoor would be a trick pass. Yeah, unless there's scrapes coming up the stairs. Still from the public side there, still holding on, very, very well. They're going to have to make sure that if someone is going to check the uh, back door for welding, that it's not Reaper. If a flesh pound turns up, they can't afford the demo to be welding. But he's going back for it. That's the Mercy Reaper that's looking after the door. I mean, if the team communication is good enough, you may be able to get enough away. There's a reasonable amount of room here for the demo to be able to deal with the flesh pound, at least if it comes from the front. If one pops oh. out the middle, it could get a bit hairier. Hold on a the door has been cleared out though, so I'm not going to that anymore. Yep. It's now very big and focused on the flesh pound, wherever it may come from. Probably get one in the next 20 or so is it. I suppose the thinking behind all it sounds like the one's coming out. Got one now. And he's going down the side. No, he's coming not. back in the middle. middle. In the middle. But again, taking care of it, so he's going every further there. One thing I noticed is they all moved back together. There is a. They can. The Zeds can spawn around the side where Mushroom Head is, so. If they do all get forced back to that point, they've got to be aware of other Zeds spawning. If there's no one holding that side. I'm sure they, they are aware of that. They seem to have practiced it quite well. Well, that's why I think that's where it is. Yeah. That's what's blocking that spawn. Yeah. Absolutely. You can't hold here unless you don't have someone there. Uh, but if he does get forced back, they've got to be mindful that they could get surprised. The last thing you want is a couple of sirens spawning there. That was pretty quick. Three minute um, wave. Just having a bit of time as I finish off the last one there. Run for it! And a pretty close trader for them, so that's good. And they've all got armor now. Safe and sound. Or oh, wearing those not. Kevlar fashion accessories. All quite quick in the trader. Looks like they've got their final loadout. It's just hitting the fill ammo and get out. That's what you want to do. Get those trade skits in. Save some time. As we've seen in the tournament, that it may it can come Look down out, to only a few seconds, out. so every little bit helps. So we've got the flush pounds coming from the side again. With siren at a screen. But they're going to take that box. Ah, great, they popped. Great, they just Very well handled there, even with the grenades not going through. People was able to get killed cleanly without doing too much damage to himself or the team. Yeah, that was nice, well uh, handled. Straight kill right there, I think. Sharp head shoot. Continue stunning it. So we're in the beginning stages of wave time. They're looking at just under 14 minutes at this stage. What time frame do you reckon they're going to look at for the completion of this map? Uh, well, we seem to be averaging roughly 4 minutes away. They take a little more than give, really. The traders haven't been very kind to them so far, though. So, apart from the last one, it's been a bit of a long walk. So, with a bit, bit of luck from the traders, we might be able to get in the 21 region. 
maybe a touch more than that. I think it's going to be hard to be a lot faster. Faster than that on this map. Given this camp spot. From personal experience, I know that generally on this map, the paddy, or when you're trying to find a patriarch, it's not easy to chase it down. So, if they don't do that, and not anything naturally, I'll be probably saying in 22, 23 minute time. And this team has not been chased the pads so far in any of their games. Um, in fact, uh, Reaper has been using the crossbow versus the pad. They've been quite happy to let the pad walk into a barrage of bolt fire. Um, yeah, I reckon 21 minutes, 23 minutes is probably going to be on par for this, for this map for this team. Here comes a flashbang. Of course, if they get a, a really bad trainer or two, then it might change it as well. Um, they tend to have, so far in their games, a very strong idea of where they're going to take the pack on all their maps. So I'm sure they've got one for this as well, they just won't take him at any old random trader, they'll, they'll have a predetermined place for engagement. And the issues has left. Can't you see I'm reloading? Yep, they've done that quite well. Again. So far, there are uh, the hairiest uh, time in this game has been the end of the first wave. Yeah, well, I'm going with my warm-up theory at the moment. <laughs> Seem to settle in <laughs> into a pretty solid rhythm. Oh, that's nice, trader. Oh, beautiful trader. Oh, it's brilliant, trader. for them. I need some dosh right now. So I'm assuming Reaper's get, at this point will get his pipes. He has been there on fire with his oh, pipes. Mate. He seems to always know exactly where to put the pipes, and they've been working a treat. Let's seal this up. Yep, right outside that corridor, which is where the other flashbangs have been coming from, so... I'll put the front just for good measure as well. We haven't seen double FP yet, although we might now. Here we go. And they both come in the same direction. With sirens and scrapes. Boom boom. Easy done, easily done. Good use of pipes though. Watch it! I'm reloading! Not a scratch. Say most of the teams that I've seen in replays and stuff. They haven't seen that we had too much of an issue with the strikes and push buttons. They've generally had good ways of dealing with all of them, which is nice to see. Even as only in level twos, they still know how to take them down. Yeah, we're yeah, seeing the yeah. focus on that their practice. Yeah, we're seeing the cream of the crop here. Yeah. I hope so on the ground final. Reloading, cover me! I'm really disappointed if my team was beaten by someone who wasn't totally professional. But of course both Synergy and V2 are very very good at this, so well deserved the best spot on the ground final. Do we reckon we'll see Reaper with Crossbow again? Stringing these done at the last, yeah, essentially every game is played, most likely. Yeah, that's, that's quite a likely scenario. Give her an X, it's kind of a little bit forward there. Give her a little bit too forward there. But I think particularly nice if their strategy is uh, drawing the patty, so they know where it's coming from. Reloading. I'd say if they're going to do that again, I think we can expect to see all the crossbows again. Double push down on the right. Double push down on the right. One down, two down. Easy peasy. Too many of the pipes. Oh, 
Alright, so we've got just over 19 minutes, 74 left. I'm gonna change and say 23 minutes, so I reckon they'll do this. <laughs> Which will still be a pretty decent time on this map. It's not known for the, the lightning fast times. There is nothing better than seeing a whole bunch of callers go up in a, a cloud of red, is there? Certainly very satisfying this man. Satisfying. Especially the patty. Alright, 20 minutes has just rocked over. This way is pretty much finished. A couple of calls and that's it. Let's see if they get a good trader. <laughs> Always trapped in a fresh map then. Looks like it might be spawn trader. Or the throne room. Burn yes, rubber, you spawn trader, bitch. as I said. Can, Reaper's got flare revolver, dual hand cannons, and he has retained the grenade Burn launcher. Rubber, you Interesting. Oh, that is a change of pace. No crossbow. Not this time. The others all have crossbows. And dual, dual hand cannons. cannons, and they all have dual hand cannons. So Reaper is doing the lighting up, and they're taking him back here. May as well make use of those two pipes that are on the ground. Dropping all his pipes at the start of the wave. Wake up, you killer! What have you done to my children? That's a close spawn as well. Oh, they didn't uh, try to lead him in this time. I guess maybe no need. <laughs> oh, he missed them all with the rocket. Wow. Lucky for them. I'm reloading. Hold on when I do my doctor thing. Can't you see I'm reloading? Healing up, being back. With that door wobble, he'll be going all the way around again, back oh, in the front. Keep my hands full. Floating away. Still got the pipes. Most of the pipes in there. He's in there and he's... He smacked Reaper oh, oh, and whoa. Matt's down. There's a kill. Yeah. But right, he's stuck. He's just in for a bit. Get him to get but the they're kill. taking him out. Still with three heal. A worthy sacrifice. Who needs some Wonga? Well, that's not a bad time. 22.56. Four seconds shy of my 23 minutes. Indeed. A good effort. And that was a... I'm not sure whether they planned to have to try to force him to the radial, but it definitely worked out in their favour.